All right, got something new in today. Um, this is something very similar to what Tormach offers uh, to kind of use as a jog pendant um, or pendant. And uh, found this guy on Amazon for, I think it was 55 bucks. And this should help um, just get things dialed in a lot faster. So I think this is the same, it's gotta be the same manufacturer as the Tormach one. Well, I went to the website and downloaded the latest driver, so I've got that starting, and it's going pretty quick. Uh, if you happen to buy one of these things used and you don't know where to get it, um, that is the website right there we, where you can go and get the latest driver for this thing. Okay, it's time to do the uh, maiden voyage for this um, shuttle. I'm going to first do it on the, I guess the Z. I wouldn't mind getting some clearance. Okay, so that moves, but holy crap. The, uh, ooh, cool. All right, so this guy, this guy's in business. And this is for like getting down there. This thing's moving for every one rotation. It's moving between one and two tenths. That's pretty crazy. And this guy. This is a smooth criminal, man. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so that's the Z. Let's try the Y. Same deal here. So, let's try the X. Yep, we're in business, man. I'm real happy with that. Okay, so it didn't work right out the box. Um, it does, but you've got to follow the right steps, and I'm going to get into that. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go to the uh, Mach 3 website, that newfangled website. Okay, so it didn't work right out the box. Um, it does, but you've got to follow the right steps, and I'm going to get into that. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go to the uh, Mach 3 website, that newfangled website. are you all right download plugins there we go okay you want to go down here until you see this shuttle pro you're gonna click on that sucker right there and then you're going to hit download and then you can follow the setup guide there and that helps so you download this thing you take this file and then you uh, drop that onto whatever uh, Mach 3 file you've got so I transferred it to this thumb drive and then I brought it to my computer from this Mac Brought it over to the PC that I have running this little CNC. So you'll have your Mach 3 folder. You go into there. Then you go to your plugins. Um, so that guy right here. Double click. And then you can go ahead and transfer that Shuttle Pro directly into here. Now when you first transfer it in here, it's going to give you a different icon. Um, because it it needs to kind of like initiate or something in your on your computer just double click on it and then it will turn it into a DLL file um, which I don't even know what DLL stands for but if you double click on here it's gonna work so just do that and 
And then once you initiate Mach 3, if you have Mach 3 open, you're going to have to close out of it and reopen it. Then you'll find that there's a new driver in there. And then I, I'm going to charge this camera really quick and get back to you. Okay, so I've got this guy. So we just talked about double clicking on the Shuttle Pro DLL file um, to get that thing set up. Now let's open up Mach 3 mil, which mine's already opened. And then, in order to get this shuttle working, which, uh, again, I have the Shuttle Express. It's the uh, smaller version, which is basically the same as the Tormach. And I'm sure they just put their stickers on it and call it a day. Um, you're going to go ahead and go to the config on Mach 3. So, right up here at the top, hit config. You're going to scroll down until you get to... Uh, config plugins and then you're going to see the shuttle pro in here um, then you're just gonna go ahead and click on configure and you're gonna see this screen pop up now if you don't happen to have the shuttle Express which is what I have you um, you can select whatever type you have so there's the shuttle the shuttle pro and then the Express so I selected the Express which is what I have and although this shows a picture of the Shuttle Pro, and it turns out the Shuttle Pro is $99 right now with Amazon Prime free shipping to your door. Which I actually kind of wish I would have had because you have all these buttons. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that they'd be, you know, this thing would be this fun, but it's awesome. I, I wish I would have bought this one. Uh, I'm sure it's not that much more. So anyway, uh, with that being said, now you need to select something to actually do something. I selected this button here, which happens to be in the same orientation as uh, this button here, and I made this my X. So you have three buttons on the top, so I decided to make it X, Y, Z in that order. To get this guy set up, I just selected this one as your X axis. By default, it's gonna be on none. All you have to do is select X axis, and then you go to your next button. And then I selected that, went to Y axis, or axes, however you wanna say that. Um, I'm not a scientist, so I'm just gonna talk. And then third button over for the Z, right up here, select your Z axis, or Z. That's all I have configured right now on this. And I don't know what I want the other buttons to do. I basically have two more buttons. I have this one on the side and then this one. I'm thinking the one on the right, I'll make e-stop. And then this guy here, um, perhaps cycle start. I don't know. Uh, cycle start would be pretty cool. But for for now, I mean, there's a, there's a basis to get you started. And uh, yeah, I think this is awesome. Uh, but you certainly set yours up however your little heart desires. There's some wireless options out there. I don't know if I really feel like changing any more but batteries. I have plenty of battery power to everything uh, from cameras, phones, um, toys for the babies, all this stuff. At some point, I got to just quit changing batteries and charging things. Charging is like half my life, it seems. Uh, so anyway, hopefully you find this uh, video helpful. For me, zeroing um, tools out and just getting um, set up with uh, touching off with the, you know, this touch off plate or even finally using the Heimer 3D taster that I bought. I've been anxious for that, but I didn't want to touch that sucker until I've got something I actually kind of trust, which this thing, um, so far I trust it. If I break the Heimer on it, I'm probably going to burn it and throw it in the trash. But, uh, super cool. Man, can't beat that with a stick. So, anyway, good luck, guys. Hopefully you found this uh, useful. All right, one last little thing. Uh, so, getting to the PC for the milling machine uh, with a thumb drive is kind of a pain because the PC that I have rocking that thing doesn't even have a... Uh, um, thumb drive up front so what I have is this little Logitech uh, extender 
It's twelve ninety nine on Amazon. Free shipping to your door. Um, I'll put a link on on this thing, but what I'm going to do is simply uh, put this guy right. Um, yeah, I'll mount it under here. So I've got some some of uh, this stuff we call Velcro. And I just put one piece on there. Now I can go ahead and take my trusty thumb drive and put that bad boy in there.